In this section, we're going to talk about how to measure your nipples for that perfect flange fit. If you've watched the other videos, you know that flange size is very important to help you empty milk. When you have a flange that's too big, it can cause you to not empty milk as efficiently, which can result in plug ducts and mastitis or decrease in milk supply. So when you are going to measure your nipple, oftentimes your clothing or a bra will push that nipple flat and it can be a little smaller when it's at rest. So you'll take your top down or your bra down and you wanna do just a little bit of pinching of that nipple until it kind of perks up and nips out just a little bit. So you don't want it perfectly flat and compressed, you want to have just a little bit of stimulation to that nipple. Then what you'll want to do is you'll want to measure just the base of the nipple, the diameter across the fullest part, not the areola, not the breast. The size of the breast and the areola do not matter when you're talking about flange fit. It's just the nipple. Um, so you'll want to measure that diameter. There are some nipple rulers that you can purchase online. If you have an art stencil that's concentric circles, meaning they have one to 36 millimeter circles, where they have every circle size and diameter, you can get one of those rulers and find exactly how many millimeters your nipple is. You can also just use a regular ruler. Um, I have included in your handouts a printable version. If you print it off of your computer, you would cut the ruler out and then you're gonna measure your nipple across that diameter. So this nipple, if we have it here and we're looking at diameter, is gonna measure about 20 millimeters. So for this nipple, we would be starting with a probably 20, 21, or 22 millimeter pump flange. Now there is a lot of variability in pump flanges. It's like finding the right size bra. A 36D across three different brands, depending on the cut, the strap, um, the fullness, the cup inside can make a real big difference even though the measurement says the same. So a lot of factors go into play. How dense or elastic is your nipple? How long or short is your nipple? and how that nipple interacts with your areola. So there is a lot of trial and error when trying to find that right size pump flange, but in general, you're looking to measure the base after you've kind of stimulated a little bit, and you may need to add one, two, or even three millimeters from that as your base rate to kind of start trying to find the flange that fits the best. So that's how I typically will do them in my consultations. Now you know.